Hey, what's up everybody? Dr. Nick here. It is a Friday evening and I realized that I didn't do my longevity video for today. So <laughs> it's funny because I've got an amazing partner, my Dr. Sonia, who does whatever she can to keep me accountable. And we're all so excited about launching our longevity lab and, and really wanting to educate wherever possible. And so uh, it was sort of gut check time and I, I realized that I said I was going to do 20 videos at least. So uh, here, here I am. So I want to talk to you about what I'm doing today actually in, in regards to longevity. Uh, inside of our Doctors Jensen tribe we, we, um, and our Metabolic Fix program, we're doing a group fast. And it, it was supposed to start on Monday, but in fact, uh, the timing was right. And I was mentioning earlier how sometimes the fast just speaks to you and when the time is upon you you just you move into the fast and you don't ask questions and part of the reason is because the body knows what to do the body knows exactly what to do and that's why fasting is such a powerful tool and when we listen to the body and just ride the wave of what the body wants you know we're rewarded but as soon as we let the mind come into play and, and take control of what what we should or should not do, we can easily get sidetracked. So here I am on day one, 24 plus hours into the fast. And uh, we, we do one, one a quarter. And this is part of our longevity plan. Every time that we have a fast, we always go in with an intention. And the intention for me is have as many light, have, have as much vitality as possible in all my years so that I can be uh, the greatest expression of a father and husband and doctor and and um, whatever other roles that I play in life so that I can show people what's possible. It really sinks in for me when when people take ownership over their health and decide to implement lifestyle strategies that are going to add a huge amount of, of health into their years. So I want to talk about caloric restriction versus fasting. So caloric restriction is um, sort of the old school phenomenon of, you know, just cutting down calories so that you can increase the amount of calories you're burning when you're exercising. And so eventually people will hopefully get to a place where they lose weight. The problem in chronic caloric restriction is it's a huge mess with our hormonal system. And in some people it can, it, it seems like it's a lifelong a challenge for them to ever get any real success with it long term and we know what happens with the biggest loser is that all that weight keeps coming back so if you're not going to reprogram your hormonal system for for health and longevity uh, caloric restriction um, though inherently sh is part of uh, longevity there's just a smarter way to do it and enter fasting so intermittent fasting or time restricted eating windows alternate day eating um, once a week, 24 hour fasting. There's so many different ways to do fasting. Uh, we're in the middle of a five day water fast, so a block fast. And every time I do one, there's always some new surprises that, that open up in my healing. And the bigger, the biggest piece, I think that, that most of our modern culture doesn't tap into is this process of autophagy, which means self eating. And when you're when you're going into your fast, the first thought is is that your oh your metabolism is going to slow down. Uh, eventually, you're just you're sort of waiting for the inevitable weight surge back on the body uh, by doing a fast. But the reality is is that when you're when you start to tap into a deeper state of fasting, growth hormone rises, epinephrine rises. Uh, sure, some cortisol rises to mobilize some sugars. Um, testosterone rises, a lot of our anabolic hormones actually wrap up. People don't realize that in a true fasted state, your metabolism actually increases. So that by day four or five, you're burning, you know, 75% of the fuel you're burning your body is from fat. And you have to remember protein is not a fuel source. However, in the first 24, 36, maybe in 48 hours, you're going to be burning through some protein. But what we attach protein to typically is, is um, we think of it as, as muscle. But protein essentially can be cells that are that are worn out that are inflamed we talked about senescent cells a couple of videos ago and how we've got two cell types cells that are wanting to move back into reproduction and and build new healthy tissue and then those that are senescent zombie cells and so in the first 24 36 48 hours we're really chipping away at a lot of that cellular debris and that's the process of autophagy and so the deeper we dive into autophagy the deeper we dive into our healing 
And we need, from a lifestyle point of view, to set up a balance of growth and repair. And so we can stimulate growth by obviously exercising, eating an abundance of food or having feast times or increasing our protein intake. But we definitely need time where we're restricting protein intake because we want to get into this self-cleaning, self-nurturing uh, process of, uh, that, that we also get with fasting. So caloric restriction is very, very different than fasting. Mm -hmm. Fasting is actually an increase in metabolism where caloric restriction chronically is a, is a reduction in metabolism. And at the end of the day, well, why we're doing these fasting exercises quarterly is to really turn off bad genes, reset your microbiome. A uh, Nobel Prize in 2016 was shown to, um, or was won for understanding the role of autophagy in fasting. And uh, the doc who was, who was diving into this research was actually finding that, that these fasted states, autophagy is actually killing parasites and viruses and bacteria and all sorts of things that shouldn't be in your body. So think of like how often do you invoke a state of cellular repair and cellular healing just by stopping doing something. And that's essentially what fasting is. Now everyone is going to have a different experience going through a fast. Sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's more challenging. But that's why we coach people, and that's what their metabolic fix program is all about. And because caloric restriction and uh, dietary uh, interventions in relation to longevity are so well studied, it's probably one of the, the most well-known ways to, to add more life to your years and, and more years as well. Um, that's why we practice it so regularly. So as part of our longevity lab exercise cellular fitness program, the circuits that we implement, fasting is fundamental in this whole journey. So as you're oxygenating your body more, adding more mitochondrial support with red light, increasing vascular flow with the Beamer, you're optimizing brain function to reduce that stress response, uh, getting in the sauna and the ion uh, cleanse foot bath to detox and pull up the toxicity so you can actually reawaken a healthier, younger, more youthful cells. It's part of the whole journey and fasting is, is right in there with it. So I'm taking a, during my fast, I take something called fast tonic, which is creating this little bubbly concoction here. And fast tonic is a, is a hydrogen, molecular hydrogen. And hydrogen has a funny role in the body or a very interesting role in the body in that what it does is called a selective antioxidant. So as our body is detoxing with fasting, uh, it's stimulating a stress response. And so hydrogen actually just builds resilience in the body and allows our body to process inflammation more effectively, turn on and off genes that are regulating inflammation. And so I find that when I'm drinking my fast tonic during a fast, I want to drink it while it's still bubbly. Uh, I find it just, it just helps you move through the fast a lot easier because it's working on those intracellular uh, regulation mechanisms. So anyways, that's, uh, that's, I mean, not anyways, this is like one of the most important tools and I can't encourage people enough to, to find a program or a guide or, I mean, jump into our metabolic fix program. Next time we run one, we run it quarterly. Once you're in, you're in for life because we, we want to keep people going on this journey because it's a lifestyle change. Mm -hmm. Just like the longevity lab, the circuits are built in so that as you, level up with your lifestyle strategies intracellularly or with your diet, with your nutrition, you've got tools that keep that aging process from speeding up. And in fact, we can slow it right down. So that's all for tonight. Um, and I thank my wife, Dr. Sonia Jensen for provoking me to uh, stick to my word and that's what I'm doing. So more, more videos to come. Uh, we're going to continue on this longevity series. As, and uh, if you have questions or if you want to know certain aspects to longevity, uh, it's an area of huge interest for us. And uh, so chime in wherever you can. Lots of love.